Reality from Flextronics India. Uh, I am uh, giving a short intro about uh, our resource person. Um, he is having 12 years experience in various industries such as safety products, automotive, medical and so on. Flextronics is the second company and uh, where he's uh, been working as assistant manager of quality and uh, managing 16 engineers under him. His responsibility includes taking care of ISO and uh, automotive requirements, uh, managing team and uh, conduction of various training across the verticals. His ho hobbies are he is a cat lover and uh, he likes reading books uh, on management. His passion is training on various subjects, both technical and non-technical. He is having various international certification such as uh, the lead auditor for ISO 9001 to, to, to 2015 and certified for medical automotive aerospace standards. He is a black belt holder in uh, Lean Six, Six Sigma and uh, he is an expert in data analysis and in people management and handling a big team. He is also the lead auditor in First Aid. And uh, he is also the lead auditor in supplier audits. Sir, uh, we all welcome you uh, to handle uh, this session on how to attend the interview. Hope the students will enjoy the session. Sir, the session is now yours. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for your wonderful uh, introduction. I'm really, really glad and I'm very thankful for the opportunity. And first of all, I also would like to uh, thank the opportunity from the management. Thank you. So this one uh, proven to be not very effective. See, this guy is almost sleeping. So this technique is not really effective. So to have any presentation, whether soft skill or whether it's hard skill for anything, so one thing what we need to have is we need to get together and we need to have a build the art of networking and uh, and then you know you share the ideas with the mentor you share the idea with the teacher professors this is a way we can you know increase and leverage the understanding level yeah so i would prefer to go with the model b because model b allows to get interacted and i know it gives a different ideas how the session will go on so some ground rules, as you all know, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. So mobile phone, kindly put in mute, mute. And if you wanted to bring any discussion, so you can, you have a chat box or you can unmute yourself and have a discuss. So this is uh, what agenda we're going to discuss today. Uh, one, I have three parts. One part is the basic of uh, interview, uh, how to prepare for the interview, what the dress code, what the, com how the communication you need to have. And the second part is very interesting and this is something I picked up from the LinkedIn and the various authentic sources and also I bought various books from there I picked up few uh, you know few tidbits around the topic how to prepare the resume and uh, how to what is good techniques for the good resume and the part three is the personal experience and also I picked up a book called uh, you know various powerful phrases for the interview which I'm going to uh, talk about it. And that the last session is a QA session where you can have a go and ask any questions uh, which you like. So in summary, so uh, end to end, you will get the coverage in this uh, presentation. So this is, uh, we are going to the part one and the introduction to interview. So uh, this is uh, interview. You all know that it is a structured conversation where one participant asks question, the other provides answers. And uh, why why do we need to interview? Because uh, to find out who is the potential employee and uh, how who will be a right candidate for the organization. So interview experience actually, like uh, you know anything like was it successful? So whether you are going to attend or if you are going to attend any interview, this is your uh, checklist or you attended and you come back again this is your checklist like you know was it successful how long did it go for what impression did you make what questions being asked how did you answer those questions how did you think where did you think you went well 
and where are the areas you need to find the improvement so remember like interview techniques are really uh, continual improvement process what do you mean by continual improvement process meaning like you know it cannot be learned uh, in a in a night it requires a constant practice it requires a constant uh, networking with that we can develop a strong uh, interview techniques so uh, preparing for interview so one thing what we need to do is uh, you know rehearsing for your interview you can do it in three ways uh, i read a book yesterday there is something called uh, powerful phrases for uh, interviews in page number 22 it says that actually there are three ways one you can present yourself in front of the uh, you know mirror so you just have a presented so that you will know that how is your body language how is your uh, you know phonetics how is your you know act, i mean how is what uh, what uh, content you are using and all these you will your mind will try to draw a clear picture that is point number 1 another one is actually like uh, just record yourself in you know phone whether is audio version whether is audio version is very good or whether is uh, you know video version any version you can record it and then okay so and then you just uh, play around actually then make a next video and then play around so that what will happen is uh, by doing this you yourself your brain your brain will uh, find a very perfect equation which will be perfect and you will not be any you will not have any nervousness during the audit so i mean during the you know interview so this is the second one i wanted to uh, talk about the third one what you just call upon your friends and then you present in front of them so i'm going to have this one so if the question ask about what's your strength where you are good at it okay i'm going to tell these answers so what is your in, uh, inclination to it what's your thoughts on to it am i am i doing right am i too fast am i too slow so where do you think i need to improve like this uh, you just uh, take the senior uh, you know college uh, one or you can take the people who are in the job or you can take uh, your classmates everything you have these constant rehearsals uh, the rehearsal the more rehearsal you do the more betterment you will become during interview so just to uh, you know have a point that one way uh, in front of uh, mirror you can just present another one is uh, you can record from your mobile third one is you can just uh, you know bring your friends and then ask them like uh, you know i'm i'm going to present this one so can you please uh, correct me can you please help me to correct it you can also take uh, any one colleague's help or any one uh, the help which you are in the surroundings and do not hesitate to take any any help actually for example if somebody is good at something and do not have that hesitation that what this person will think of uh, you know if i do a blunder mistake what this people will think? never think that so always be bold always open for correction this is one great attitude uh, we need uh, in the organization the something who is good at uh, because it is very very impossible to know everything but what you can rest assured to the organization is you can just uh, get learn and be very competent uh, employee so uh, researching about the company also also important uh, for example uh, you know like which company what portfolio what work they do what product they make what catalog they do all this what is their uh, you know revenue generate all these you please investigate have a write it down so that uh, you can just be well sure of that company and when the question come why do you wanted to why you choose this company you will have a fair idea that and how you can con you can construct the uh, your explanation to that question so the next point is the dress up yeah so and and actually like uh, i have also have experience where i i conducted various uh, interviews and uh, sometime actually like uh, you know with few students uh, uh, you know completed the graduation and then they come and uh, attend the interviews but actually they have a very sound knowledge and they have a very good communication but the thing is uh, their dressing uh, you know does not appear to be so you know they will have a headphone on they will have a headset on all this so what we have to do is even you can just uh, close all of these headset and all that have a good comb and uh, give a best impressions uh, you know uh, if you if you have men like uh, black and with the blue shirt and all that will be very good uh, if it, if you are like girl 
to make sure that your dressing everything is very proper so you can also do this way also as well this is uh, one tips i would like to share let's say you you wanted to attend an interview very far from your place let's say you wanted to attend from uh, let's say chennai and currently you are in coimbatore so that means uh, you might need to travel the distance of uh, you know seven hour di distance you might need to travel right so what you do one day before you can come uh, you can just stay in chennai and then make sure that you get used to the surrounding and when you uh, go and you can also have something like you know face wash or something like that in your packet uh, when you go and enter just enter well before the time uh, you know to the organization let's say your interview schedule at 9 then you can go and uh, you know sit there at the 8 o'clock get used to the environment and then you can ask the security guys the where i can go and get uh, you know fresh up so you can just go and wash your face and uh, you know just to uh, feel fresh you can we can do that so uh, but sometime actually we also see that actually like in the hot sun when you come out actually like your brain is super tired and you might not able to produce the sentences which you are prepared for so always uh, do that actually this is something i wanted to share a psychological reason to it one psychological reason is let's say you in the horse riding horse riding actually if the party i mean if the program starts let's say like 10 o'clock so they, they bring the horse at least four hours before at least like six six o'clock itself they will get used to the environment you know and then they will know that where to jump and uh, where to you know have a pick up the speed and everything so th that's an art even the horse requires uh, you know settling time like human also your our brain requires a minimum settling time like 15 to 20 minute it requires a supply, uh, settling time so the minute you go and expose to uh, interview uh, you know in nervousness you may tell the things which uh, is not appropriate or you might have prepared really well but uh, the words uh, might not get uh, flown in your mouth so have a go and um, you know just uh, have a small thing like fresh up uh, and uh, have this one so that in your packet so that when you go uh, you get a, a fresh up and then you can really get connected to the, to the interview okay have a drink uh, take a glass of i mean take a water glass also as well and uh, you can anytime you can drink water and if you want hot water you can drink hot water so but feel free actually so so arriving on time i stress so much on this one because actually like this is uh, this is very important and uh, uh, arriving uh, 10 minutes early is very very good so smile make your eye contact and give a form handshake a smile is very important like you know you don't uh, need to be afraid of anything like you know just give a smile and when you smile what will happen your nervous nerve system will be in control that's the reason we say a smile is very important yeah check out the competition who is ex ex uh, sitting next to you how many people are applied for this position and what is the job description about this and what is your qualification experience and uh, you can also ask uh, well before you can also ask like those who are working in that organization you try to get some ideas how that company operates and all that so these are all different uh, you know types of interview one is the behavioral one and uh, the group one panel role play technical phone and stress and all that so we're gonna go over all of these uh, type of interviews behavioral interviews so behavior interviews actually sometimes you might uh, uh, find the question like you know interview we're asking like uh, if the custom i mean if the customer is very very angry at you how do you respond and uh, if you have let's assume that you have a scenario that you you need to leave the job how do you act it let's assume that actually like uh, all of a sudden uh, you got multiple customer complaint how do you uh, act to it so all of these to check how your behavior how you respond to the behavior whether you respond uh, you know uh, reactively or whether you respond actively that's something to check and this is what uh, the technique being used the behavioral technique so to behavior is very very uh, intrigue one well, why i use the word intrigue one is because actually it will allow it will show your it will demonstrate your personality how you it will tell all about you so because when that question is being asked like uh, just be careful and uh, you can tell that actually what you're good at and how you can manage it 
and uh, for example even if you are comp if you are working for a small uh, scale company and then you wanted to you got an opportunity in mnc company so even though you should not uh, you know uh, degrade the b previous company you know i didn't get the job i mean i was my pay was good not good enough and i you should not say that you should always talk positive so that uh, they will get uh, an opportunity i mean they will get a confident about you that actually like you you are the person who always very optimistic and thinking about uh, the best thing so this is very very important a behavior interview sometime actually they like uh, during the if uh, trying to understand like the, if we ask like emotional question let's say you have to leave the job suddenly how do you act it so in such a case like actually you need to give that uh, confident that actually like i'm rest assured that i have been contributing various good thing uh, to the company or i will contribute various good thing to the company i'm sure that uh, you know uh, i will find the better opportunities and uh, and if this is your decision and i will respect it and all that so so just uh, have a control on your behavior have a control uh, like what you say and all that this is just to check your emotion uh, intelligence so phone interview is very uh, you know phone interview typically nowadays it is happening via a zoom via skype various thing but actually in phone interview you have to be very careful like uh, your background and you should uh, be uh, from a place like which is very very uh, not disturbing place and all that so please uh, keep an eye on that because phone interview in in person interview is quite easy where you can just go and uh, you know present yourself but in the phone interview uh, you know your body language everything is not getting uh, you know checked so that if you are heavily focus on what wording you are going to use and how we are going to explain the technical jargons and so on so in such a cases uh, please keep in keep in check that uh, you know your surrounding you you have a better internet connection you join 10 minute before and you just check whether you can also have something uh, charge is there in your mobile and all these factors you please have a check and whether the camera is perfect and all this you you can check you know last minute if after uh, in the joining the call if you rush up and you will also your your brain will be busy uh, you know fixing those uh, you know interruptions and you might not able to focus and give the best during the audio, i mean during the interview a stress interview is a very interesting thing uh, to gauge the continued uh, you know how the candidate responds to stress this is something in like uh, the behavioral uh, one it is just to for example the idea of what is the idea is actually like during the stress situation when the high priority task been given the challenging clients uh, need to be handled or we need to need to handle the uh, difficult task and all that how the person will handle that one that's the reason stress interview is stress interview question being asked group interview is a very interesting one a uh, group interview, interview is a lot of people uh, even they are very having a sound knowledge in the technical one but still they might you know in the split second if they miss it they will not be able to uh, you know give the best impression for example let's say uh, in a group discussion there are 10 uh, candidates around and you know the answer but you are somewhere like you are hesitating to come up and share it what will happen is you know you will not i mean you will not you will lose the opportunity you know the the, the person who is taking the interview him may think that okay so you don't sound to have a knowledge and that's what uh, you will lose the opportunity also so group interview is something whether you know or not you can just uh, you know try to participate have a and have a build the conversation for example they ask about the current affair and uh, you even though you, you don't know the full history about the current affair but you can start when it comes to current affair my knowledge is uh, this one but i will rest assured that i can uh, you know have a study and get back to you something like that this to assure that uh, you have a great learning agility so panel interview is uh, where one candidate multiple people are uh, taking the uh, interview so this is a panel also every one for example let's say uh, this gentleman might uh, focus on your uh, you know uh, what wording you use maybe this gentle lady she might focus on other things like how is your technical capability she might think from the hr uh, 
uh, perspective, how you are good at it, and all these different things, right? So panel interview also very uh, commonly used, and uh, in this case, you how to have a proper dress codes and what you and all these presentation, all these uh, rehearsal which you do, and during that it will be very useful uh, for you, and automatically the flow will come. You don't need to be panic. You don't need to be worry about anything. So role play also a very interesting thing. This is um, you know for example they give you a pen and then just sell this pen back to me. So how do you sell this pen back to me? So something like that. This is also a very good technique being used in the marketing domain. So body language uh, have a good eye contact. This is very important. Sometime actually uh, let's say. A speaker, the interviewer are asking the questions, and then you are just uh, gazing your eyes down. That means it will look not okay. So they may think that you are not concentrating on it. So have a good eye contact, and uh, you know, just, uh, if even if you are finding for something, just lay out something. When somebody is speaking to you, when somebody is addressing to you, just give full attention by having a good eye contact. Have a smile. A smile has got uh, two advantages. One advantage is your nerve system will become very calm. That is the best benefit you get. It. The other one is the interviewer will perceive that you have a sound knowledge and you are a confident guy. Okay, and open the body language and don't slouch and don't be too erect. I know it's sitting like you know. Uh, you you should not you need not to uh, you know too attentive uh, sitting. Make sure your eyes sparkles. Be engaged. Be engaged. What do you mean by be engaged? Is for example, if you're not uh, uh, following the questions, you can say, "May I may I ask you to repeat the question, sir? I I didn't uh, get a question. Can you please reword it? It will be better for me." Like this, you can just keep uh, engaging with that. So accept and uh, if they give a water, accept that there is no harm in it. So for example, sometimes in various company, if you come in the hot sun and all that. They have a tendency to give a water. Please accept it. No problem. So practice your handshake because form handshake tells about your personality. So communication, uh, even though in communication part I have a, a separate segment, but a few of the things I wanted to, uh, you know, just pin down now. Matching your communication style to the to that interviewer. For example, if the interviewer is asking like uh, open in that question, so what did you? What's your strength? You cannot say uh, like I have a strength. You cannot say you cannot give very vague answer. You cannot give a monosyllable answer. You cannot give uh, answer which ends with yes or no. You need to elaborate uh, one. So like this, how the interviewer is asking question like that, the tone you need to set aside. Listen carefully to the interviewer question. Avoid interrupting the interviewer. Try not to use the jargon in your answer or question. What do you mean by jargon? Let's say. Uh, you know different techniques. Uh, for example, let's say one word. Uh, let take an example of department. Department is a word being used uh, different ways. For example, department meaning like collection of uh, a function. Uh, department also means some company refers as a function. Some company refers as a vertical. Some company refers as a different thing. So, like take an example of a speed. A speed you may say. Uh, if you give this speed word to IT guy, IT guy will say that speed meaning like the data speed. So when you go and uh, just apply in the common common uh, one, it may say that the speed of the vehicle and all that. So it will vary case to case, right? So do not when you using the jargons like any use the full forms and uh, do not use any short uh, short forms and uh, the, the the words which is limited to only your circle you do. It should be uh, widely to be understood. That's the wording you need to use. We have more uh, interesting, uh, you know, things in this video actually, and in, in these upcoming slides. So uh, in this communication, actually, like uh, again, uh, so what I wanted to uh, stress out of these slides is I wanted to give a gist of every all of these slides is and uh, have a good, uh, you know, talk bold. And have a good eye contact, and have a good posture, and uh, ensure that you are very, very enthusiastic. 
dealing with nerves, how you deal, you have a smile, your nerves will be in control. Closing the interview, uh, once the interview gets closed, you can just uh, stand up and then thanks for the opportunity. Uh, you don't need to be uh, be worried about whether you selected or not, which is just uh, stand up and just uh, say like, you know, this is thank you for the opportunity. It was a great learning for me and I'm looking forward to work uh, in this organization, something like that. Have a good high uh, form handshake. So part two, we're going to talk about the re resume. Uh, this resume or resume, both are uh, same, but actually in uh, some part of the country, they use the word resume. But I will just for the benefit of you, I will use the word resume and resume. Both are mean same. And also I wanted to uh, talk about something called ATS. Very interesting concept. So your resume, these are all the eight things your resume should have. Your resume should have the name and contact. Your resume should have professional and summary. Professional summary in before they call it as, uh, you know, career objective. Now they call it as a professional summary. Area of expertise or key skills which you have. And if you have a prior experience, you can do it. And uh, strength, what's your strength? This is very important. Keep your the big strength on the top of the list. And the, you know, the, and then you can sort the item in such a way that your big strength should be on the top, your low strength are at the top. Achievement and awards, if you have got any certification, educations and all that. This is how your resume should look like. How to beat the six second resume scan? This is very interesting uh, in a statistic. It says that recruiter is spent on an average of five to seven seconds looking at resume. That means five to seven seconds they spend it. So that means what does it mean to us is we have to write uh, the resume well written and it need to convince the hiring manager or the recruiter that you are a perfect match. You know, so to do that, how we need to do is give a clean, uh, easy read, have a profile that perfect match for the job and, uh, you know, be and last minute. Actually, this is also a big flaw, actually, very, very big flaw. Uh, Sometimes actually like they don't prepare for uh, many students, they don't prefer for the interview. Last minute, they just Google it out and then try to have that one big uh, resume or go to the, uh, you know, browsing center and then try to take a copy of it. And whatever the strength, whatever the content is there, it is been returned by somebody, it is for somebody. Then you try to have it and uh, during the you know, interview, they just struggle a lot. So we should not do, we should prepare resume on your own. You can even take one month. For example, let's say uh, you drafted one, you can take, uh, you know, your senior help to review it. You can take your somebody who is working in the organization, you can take a support to review it. But do not copy from Google and do not copy somebody else resume. The most big problem is the content what is being written is will not be matching to you. And then what has been, for example, let's say I was taking an interview last time. Uh, so the, the candidate says that actually he has a best learning agility. So when I, when I saw that strength, I felt very happy. Then I just asked that open-ended question. Can you please elaborate that what you mean by learning agility? Can you give one example where you learn very quickly? And then he was, he was even he was not uh, knowing the word called agility. So then actually like this many a cases I picked up from the own document and I asked a question. So this is something I request you prepare your resume on your own and do not copy and do not copy paste from your uh, you know friend or the from the Google and this will really really might not match and it will be a risky one. And remember the recruiter is spending only 5 to 7 seconds looking at your resume these are all the powerful words which you need to use it in the resume like say advanced assign collaborated device enhanced exceeded generated implemented these are all the adject adjectives which you need to use it so that uh, it will be very very powerful 
so i have taken from the you, for more information you can go to this uh, website resumemaker.est uh, it gives a very variety of uh, content from there you can pick it up so as i said like the old way of uh, saying okay let me tell you the difference between resume and curriculum vitae resume is meaning like your resume from the you know you know studies to work you are just starting fresh anything like fresher and all that you can use the word resume if you are happen to be a cv curriculum vitae that means you have a previous experience you work for various companies then you can use the word the cv resume is for fresher cv curriculum vitae is for experience uh, candidate so old way as i said before uh, the career objective now is replaced with professional summary so this is the professional summary you need to start and uh, you you need to have a uh, you know resume just a one page or maximum of maximum of two page not more than that it should be very neat and uh, the fonts everything should be very appeasing so this is something i wanted to talk about ats this is i picked up from the linkedin yesterday and thanks to my colleague uh, ajita who is uh, part of the hr department and who was my ex colleague and uh, she had uh, given this one to me and i said like i when i take it read it i was uh, really really felt that it's a very useful information so this is what is ats ATS actually application tracking software. Many companies use it, including if you look at like uh, Naukuri, if you look at the various uh, the you know uh, big organization who is a recruiter uh, one, they use the word ATS application tracking system. So that means uh, you know 98 percentage of the company uh, use the application called ATS. What is ATS? Uh, what what will happen? Whatever the resume or the CV you upload, it picks up the various uh, keywords electronically. And uh, what does uh, it mean? It means that uh, for recruiter, this is uh, to screen the resume. It is very easy based on the keyword. For example, let's say I am looking for a candidate for a quality management system. That means I will look for ISO. I will look for quality. I will look for seven quality tools. I will look for good uh, written English. I look for good presentation skills like these uh, keywords they being fetched by ATS and uh, if these words like you know uh, to do that we always you need to use the word which is common you should not use any technical one what will happen if you are using any technical word what will happen the research will not the search engine will not uh, will be able to pick your words properly so that means you you might lose the chance of getting get shortlisted of your resume screening you might fail you may fail so what you need to do is you use the word which is very very user friendly i'll give one more example so uh, one more statistic actually about ats application tracking system uh, 70 75 percentage of all resume are never seen by real human it says like 70 percentage or more resume includes a qualified candidate a candidate which is uh, having no career well qualified career uh, candidate is still are rejected by ats why because of the following reason one reason could be a white pdf always a resume should have a word document and avoid placing the information uh, in, uh, in the header or footer ATS doesn't take from the header and footer. Avoid tables, graphs, everything. You just normal Arial font. You can use it. Arial 11 size. You can use it. So you don't end with the margins and all that. You can use it. Do not use any fancy uh, letters, and uh, that will be not appropriate. Uh, it will not look professional. At the same time, ATS will not grab those things. avoid fancy english what do you mean by fancy english you know ats will not read it so you have to use a simple english avoid glitch terms like the result oriented proven track so instead of that you can give like proper description with the data so the best way you can also do that you know if somebody is there working for some organization build a good networking take their support yeah 
so now we are coming to the last segment called how to prepare yourself i hope the second segment part 2 segment was useful on the resume how to prepare the resume and what are the key words you need to have a resume what is ats and how does the ats work now we are going to go to the last segment called how to prepare yourself so this is the book i was referring to and uh, i will give it to madam uh, madam uh, she, she, i mean uh, i request madam to circulate to the student this is very very nice book called perfect phrases for the perfect interview uh, this book basically gives uh, very iq related questions it also gives like uh, emotional questions uh, stress management questions and all that uh, just to be assured of uh, how the best answer should be given so this is the best book actually i can recommend and uh, he is a best author carol M M martin and he has written many books uh, on various uh, human manage human resources uh, management so i picked a few phrases actually let's take an example of use long way that is too informal uh, what is too informal meaning like uh, let's say uh, you cannot say like uh, let's say i am i'm asking a question like uh, to a candidate so what was your college project and what did you learn from that one was it successful what are the barriers you had and how did you overcome those barriers that means uh, yeah i did uh, my uh, you know with i did my uh, project with my my with my guys and these are all very very informal very shabby uh, uh, words you should not use it and you have to use guys yes yeah and all that we should not use it you have to construct uh, the proper sentences in such a way that actually like uh, you know it will look very 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 formal so remember like uh, you are giving for the first time that means your your impression makes everything your impression is very very important like actually i have also an experience like a few candidate and uh, seems to be over confident and uh, when the question being posted uh, on uh, on Uh, him actually like he was saying yeah yeah I, yeah i understand something like that so, so that is uh, sometime inappropriate you have to use a very formal word like s yes, yeah i get you and uh, may I, may i uh, give the answer like this you can polite politely you can address uh, to the interviewer the words uh, that are vague do not vague use any vague word like a lot great very these are all the words will not help uh, instead of that you can use the objective words for example like say i have a lot of experience uh, in various uh, subject let's say and instead of that uh, you know over the 8 year experience uh, working in the, the different industry i have this experience like this always use look at this actually this is objective one this is a fake back fact based uh, one that means you need to quote the number right so this is very important yeah misuse of pronoun misuse of pronouns also like uh, in the tension like uh, you know the, during the interview also seen that uh, you know uh, we in in when you to work with the team we need to use we no doubt uh, when you use we that means uh, you are a team player but actually like uh, while during the interview it is all about you right so you need to use i there right so you they are talking about about you only right you can use the word i and uh, sometimes gender also is a problem actually like uh, let's say uh, interviewer is uh, female and uh, you no know, out of a nervousness you pull out like yeah yes sir and i am following you and all that so just uh, have these uh, you know things being checked properly use company specific word so if you just research about the company while researching it what company uses it you use those uh, phrases appropriately assuming everyone knows the acronym which you are using for example let's say you are going to use sar do not think that actually like uh, they everyone knows the same thing what you are going to use so it's better you can give the full form or you can use a word which is uh, universal the uh, the sixth point is uh, describing skill by using weak words what do you mean by weak words you know i'm pretty good uh, with the computer i'm pretty strong these are all the very very weak words what we need to use it i am very knowledgeable about particular software 
uh, when I'm unfamiliar with the program in the past, I taught myself in less than two weeks and I'm very quick learner. So that means, uh, it, see, this three line conveys everything about you. First, it says that you are knowledgeable. Second thing is uh, you didn't know in the past and then you learn quickly. So one word talks about how learning agility you have. Use too few words to answer, meaning like, uh, you know, yes or no. Uh, if the interviewer is asking a uh, lengthier question, can you elaborate more about your project? That means you end up telling one or two words that is that we need to avoid. We need to elaborate where it need to be elaborated. Uh, talking too much, you know, uh, not getting to the point, we also need to keep in mind, okay? So, if uh, something like, uh, you know, you can also ask, like, uh, so, uh, sir, uh, sir or madam, like, uh, are you are you following my answer, sir? Like, can I, uh, can I just add few more lines to it? Something that you can politely ask. So, actually, like, good start is everything. Uh, very few slides I have. I will take uh, 10 more minutes, actually. Uh, with that, I can complete. So, uh, good start is everything. So, breaking the ice. So, it says that actually this book also interestingly talks about this one. Uh, when we go for an interview, the interviewer will be will be knowing about your situation that, you know, you come from the exhausting traveling, you, you would have come from the native place, you would have come from different places and all that. So, they know that actually you, uh, you have and also the new places, new nervous, all this. They always use uh, some breaking the ice topic. What do you mean breaking the ice? Did you find the place okay? Then this is the best place that you can you can just give a best impression. For example, yes, I, thanks for asking. Yeah, I, uh, yes, I actually had extra time to catch up a coffee across the street. I just, uh, you know, uh, went to, uh, I, I was sitting in the cafeteria and this is what the, uh, I just uh, relax down and all that. That means it says that this is indirectly you are uh, communicating a point that actually you came in time, before the time you came. Like this, you make a good impression about the breaking the ice. For example, did you find the place? How was your commute? Tell me about yourself. And are you familiar with the company? How do you describe yourself? All these are uh, really, really uh, interesting one. Have a read this one and then you can just uh, change according to your uh, wording and uh, style but actually this is very very nicely they have described and also one thing actually like uh, myself word we should not use for example let's say a candidate start uh, himself uh, herself like you know myself is a bra that means that's the incorrect one myself is a very cognitive word meaning like it is a total submission word meaning like uh, it cannot be used you can use either my name is Abrar or this is Abrar. So, do not use the word myself. How do you describe your strength? Strength, please spend some time uh, on this. The more you practice, you will get to know you. Please find out your strength. You may be good at something. Uh, maybe you may be good at, uh, you know, why we ask uh, the strength during the interview is strength also basically demonstrate about the uh, person uh, capability or person attribute. For, what do you mean by that? Let's say two interview people have come. Okay, One is saying like, uh, I do read a lot of books. And, uh, you know, my latest book I read was, uh, you know, Art of uh, Networking by Thomas. And this is something, uh, you know, this is one candidate uh, response. The other candidate response is, um, you know, I go to the gym. I'm very conscious on my nutrition. I go to the gym. So it conveys that actually one is super keen on his, uh, you know, health. That is very, very good. One is super keen on the subject. Very good. So these two things are uh, basically conveys that how, uh, what strength you have and all that. Even actually many of the time, uh, this is my experience actually, uh, many of the time, what is very sad to see that even the strength are being copied from the Google. For example, let's say, uh, you know, one guy was uh, telling like, uh, you know, what is your, uh, I, they, there is a word called, uh, no, I do, I mean, reading books, there is something called reading books. So, I just asked that actually, may I know which was the last book you read it? Actually, that person was, uh, got stammered. 
and he was beating around the bush so i understand that he, he doesn't have a habit of reading books so anything which you give in the document like in a resume be very very uh, responsible and be very ethic and just see whether it is very very relevant to you not because of uh, it is appeasing you can go and fit that word uh, to your resume always use what is the right match and right word to your strength so uh, this is uh, the company uh, the conclusion which i would like to make uh, one is uh, know about the company and confirm the important details and actually there is also uh, i have seen like actually like one candidate i don't want to reveal the person name uh, one candidate uh, in, even if you take fluxtronics fluxtronics has got uh, two places in chennai one in taramani one in sri parmuttu so this guy uh, and this candidate uh, was happened to go to sri parmuttu okay there is another division where the manufacturing are taking place and uh, he read all about manufacturing it seems by looking at uh, his preparation and all that so actually he came to taramani and uh, started asking like uh, somehow he got into it and he said like is in the i wanted to talk to so and so person said, no this person is not relevant here so which which uh, company you are referring to and all that they, they, then finally we understand from the offer letter that uh, no not offer letter there is a call letter that actually this has been mentioned in sri parmuthur as well so please make sure uh, the address the contact details everything uh, you know don't do not rely upon your battery and phone you also take it down in your diary so always carry your diary because the writing habit is very very essential very important why the writing habit is very important when you write it your mind will observe things manifold very quickly yeah switch off your mobile uh, no uh, wet fish handshake uh, just as i said like you can also go uh, 50, 30 minutes before have something uh, you know like uh, quick uh, soap or something like that or the you know face wash or something you can have it small pack and have it in a pack and then when you go to the one you can ask the reception anywhere Uh, they will guide you like where the restroom and they can go to the restroom and get uh, fresh up okay so just have a good towel and uh, you know small uh, lit, uh, the kerchief or the good towel you can have it like a brief suitcase you can have where you can have a towel and all that so that you will look uh, you know uh, not wet hand as at the same time you will look very fresh and your mind will be relaxed that's very important ask questions uh, if if you are not able to get any question right and uh, if the english is too hard to get it you can feel free to ask them can you please uh, give me an alternate words sir so i am not able to follow you so no no problem so even if you are not knowing the answer also you can say that i am sorry i have a limited understanding about this subject i'll get back to you okay and body language uh, you know very important sometime actually we also have seen couple of time that actually like candidate uh, they don't feel that actually tuck in is important and all that uh, last minute uh, you know they come and they do a tuck in we can easily make out that this person is not uh, uh, done it before and he is not come well prepared and all that so please have that one because actually this uh, this the first impression is very important impression actually i had a story also about it uh, maybe i will just take one minute uh, to tell that story Uh, there was a professor who wanted to uh, give that uh, you know technique i mean interpersonal trainings i have also posted this in the youtube video also as well uh, this the story goes like this so there were uh, organization they wanted to train a, a employees on the personal interpersonal skills they went to a new place and they wanted to learn interpersonal skills and uh, these two professors uh, they had a chit chat and then they they say that you be very strict on the, t- on the students okay and then okay i will tell you the reason the senior professor said that i will tell you the reason later okay and then the the you know the all the students were very excited uh, to see a uh, environment and uh, different uh, people and uh, new contacts and all that uh, what happened actually the the professor came and uh, he held at everyone Why are you making noise? This is what you. He just picked uh, one guy who is constantly laughing. He says, "Please get out of the class." 
so this uh, out of humility and he went out uh, out of the class and uh, and then b before the professor could start and go ahead he just circulated the feedback form where he can um, give that feedback uh, session where they, you, they need to tell that actually like what was the environment do they like the environment how was the teaching uh, whether the professor you like it and all the there were four five briefing questions uh, basically wanted to know about the environment what they are, they have come in so uh, many people they anonymously uh, you know, answered that actually like poor poor like give a very very less rating like one 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 now so this uh, candidate who was standing outside the professor went and, uh, and then talked very sweetly and uh, very uh, you know very sweet and said that i'm sorry i was in some tension i just held at you please come in how did you come i understand that you have come from the long distance did you have a breakfast and all that all the students were looking at that uh, scene actually and then that person um, the professor led the student in and after that actually again he circulated the feedback form and said that can you take the survey now this time all the people have given their best survey like five out of five everywhere so then that uh, professor explained that this i did it intentionally just to draw a point that how the first impression is the best how the first impression is so pivotal just to draw a point i picked up this one so please make sure you when you have that one always the best impression uh, first impression speaks a lot so the conclusion is a uh, good beginning is half then the first impression is very important be well prepared do not uh, you know, follow other resume do not follow uh, do not try to edit other resume you prepare on your own that is very 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 good for you maybe for you know for better idea you can refer but do not try to repair rework amend append from other resume this is very very dangerous practice if you so you will have a word which is not suiting to you and you will get caught during uh, interviews right before you speak i think uh, always take a diary also as well uh, you know some uh, interviewer preferred to uh, you know for example logic gate can you tell me how does the and logic gates works so you can just use that uh, diary always uh, take a diary with you need diary and then you can good pen and need diary you can take and have it explained know about the company and uh, you can also tweak your uh, resume in accordance to the, the company needs and job uh, description keep the go, uh, good eye contact and have good posture gesture have good pass and stress get used to the environment so that's it i have from my side and uh, once again i before i wrap up uh, i just wanted to thank sns uh, college for giving me enormous opportunity and it's really really fantastic opportunity for me to share the knowledge what i have a little bit uh, knowledge on this subject uh, i will complete this one and and i'll open for the question and answer session so this is my number 8148928828 if you wanted to get in touch this is my linkedin number linkedin abra rahmat 12780881 and if you wanted to catch me in facebook facebook abra rahmat h uh, without any space and if you wanted to follow through youtube channel this is the youtube channel i have abra knowledge and uh, this is also one good thing is i got customized link also as well like you can just type abra knowledge you will get it so that's it i have from my side and i will stop Uh, sharing my screen i will open up the uh, chat one whatever the question please feel free to ask question i will be more than glad to help uh, and guide you uh, on this part so please uh, get in touch and if you need any help uh, i will be more than happy to help uh, in the future also as well so thank you so much and uh, i'm going to stop my sharing and then uh, start the chat box Uh, yeah thank you sir there is uh, one query in the chat session chat section uh, that uh, for freshers what should i reply when they ask tell me about yourself yeah that's a very very good question actually like uh, you know 
uh, tell me about yourself. How do you, how do you, what's your strength and all that? So tell me about yourself has, ha, need to have only three things. One, it need to uh, tell your first name and then what is your strength and, uh, you know, what's your, uh, you know, big achievement. So please remember now as per the various policy, data policy, you don't need to reveal your date of birth. You don't need to reveal your parents' name. You don't need to reveal what your parents do. You don't need to reveal your parents, uh, which com which uh, family you're coming from and all that. This is not uh, required now as per the data privacy policy. You can just describe about yourself. And remember, do not start the sentence by saying like, myself is a bra, I have polar experience and uh, that you should not do that way you can say my name is abrar and uh, i have completed my engineering and so on so here yeah, and i'm very happy to uh, give the uh, you know strength about myself uh, this is my strength strength number one i am a good uh, learning i have a great learning agility just to give you a context uh, in my past i had to learn the subject very quickly and I was the one who learned these things in within two weeks and uh, I, I became an expert. Even I was able to guide the team also as well. I'm a, I'm a great uh, team player also as well. Like this, you just link your, uh, you know, about your, tell me about yourself with something called, uh, you know, strength. Okay. And you don't need to reveal, you don't need to tell your father name, mother name, father, what mother does, what father does, what, where what they are no need everything including in your resume do not mention date of birth also as well you don't need to mention whether you're married not married even that also not required just simple name and context would do yeah even thank you sir. responding you need to tell more how you will benefit uh, others if you have any query you can language. ask him sir i have a query and uh, in our institution, we are uh, doing this um, uh, video oh, resume. Okay, sir. Yeah. So, can you give some uh, input or uh, some points to improve the video resume quality? We are in the starting stage. We are doing it to our level. But uh, can you give some input on this, sir, video resumes? Okay. Uh, video resume basically uh, you can uh, you know there are many uh, websites are available like there is something called you can learn about the infographic uh, like in the infographic what will happen actually like how the co content can be summarized and presented in a nice thank way thank you sir thank uh, you one way is infographic is the word which we can uh, learn madam and uh, i mean i will also will share half lane few links to you uh, that will really help madam Hey, bro, this is Arshan. Okay, any yeah, yeah. questions you have? Vasan, Vasan Kumar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just I've been, uh, just came to know, just you have been yes, told in front yes. of interview, if they are asking something about yes. the companies, okay. Can we, the right time to hi, use hi, the Mr. diary Vasan, in front yes, of yes, the yes, interview? Sir. Okay, so for example, yeah, yeah, so diary can be used, no harm in it. For example, let's say uh, some technical mm -hmm. jargons uh, which company uses, for example, like company profit, what, what are all the stakeholders and uh, who are the competitors. And uh, you, if you wanted to use, you can take the permission and most of the interviewers, they will allow because actually like writing, they like that uh, attribute. So definitely they will allow. Mm -hmm. Actually, like even I have seen like a uh, few people uh, like executive level, even okay. they use the diary to quote and uh, you know tell the exact fact. So to answer that, yes, it can be used. It is recommended too. Yeah. So 
so we will take two more questions so uh, candidate uh, one thing i would like to tell is uh, you know uh, you know in any situation in many of the uh, you know professional uh, you know scenario where you will have everything very spontaneous you might need to open up your discussions very spontaneously and all that so do not feel shy and uh, you know there is nothing called wrong and all that so you, whatever the questions you would like to have you can just ask it because you have this uh, attribute being developed because this is an important attribute uh, why because in any every phase you will be very bold for example let's say whether you're knowing or not knowing that's a secondary one as i said in the beginning like uh, not everyone knows everything right so there is always uh, an opportunity for learning learning doesn't stop so please with that spirit you can unmute and talk so the more you talk mm. the more clarity okay uh, brother gautam here again uh, i don't have any questions uh, just i want to thank you like uh, it was a very uh, uh, wonderful presentation so i think you have given a uh, lot of the info about how the students need to prepare for the interview when before the interview what all the things they have to do they, regarding the fresh up and everything you have told clearly and uh, regarding the differentiation between the resume and the curriculum vitae definitely most of the students they need to know about that right so because even in my college days i have prepared my resume with the name of a cv only i don't know about the difference difference between the resume and cv after when i joined the tcs i got to know all those things so definitely this will help to all the students and uh, you have told about the uh we need to know about the company and uh, how we need to tell about our strengths and everything so i have learned many new things in your presentation uh, i i just want to thank uh, you thank you abra yeah i'm very overwhelmed uh, uh, mr coach yeah, actually well, like uh, such uh, a experience and uh, only i have so, just uh, one question number uh, so uh, when i joined really amazon but uh, i have st- even though when i was in amazon i have started to apply a lot of the jobs yeah. and i have went for a lot of the interview that is the purpose of attending that uh, interview is not to get a job how am i currently in my uh, professional experience how i am uh, presenting my um, like uh, my strengths those kind of stuff so is is that good or uh, bad uh, i just want to yeah good. okay yeah actually okay. like okay yeah i think it's it's a good actually like uh, but actually like uh, sometime uh what uh, in, in the environment you, you know better mm. right so the manager uh, should not think that actually he is looking for an opportunity but actually like uh, in the uh, light moment we need to build the confidence to the manager that i am not seriously looking for the better opportunity but i just wanted to learn and uh, mm-hmm. you know i thereby just uh, wanted to get uh, you know used to the different uh, techniques what being used by different organization i just wanted to explore more and i wanted to enhance my training i mean enhance my knowledge that's the only sole intention i have to attend it so if you put a okay, word so okay, that your manager you. also will be uh, very appreciate that you have a thirst of knowledge they will really appreciate at the same time you will also will be comfortable uh, doing so yes yeah, sir uh, i think uh, hello So, yes, uh, anything else, uh, madam? Can we wrap up, madam? No. So actually, I had a okay, small sir. request. Uh, not response request. Uh, I had a small. Uh, sir, I request, think uh, can we have they won't turn on the camera. Uh, this is usually okay happening. If all students uh, find okay. Okay, sir. If no, no problems. I just had a intention. Yeah. Okay, intention. sir. Okay. Sir, uh, when we. Uh, sir when we discussed you said okay, about okay. the certification okay, okay. okay no problem no problem 
yeah no problem, no problem. Yeah. can you just uh, tell me a few yes, points regarding that but uh, because uh, so, few students so are uh, there interest they uh, will be interested yeah, in doing the certification course probably they may not know about this much if you tell about the importance yeah. and uh, the ways they can uh, get benefited i think sir Okay, so one thing very important. Uh, thank you so much, madam. Uh, that's a very wonderful question. Uh, always, actually, like uh, you know, domain knowledge is important. Like for example, let's say you study ECE, uh, that is good. You know, you must need to know about uh, engineering. You must need to know about uh, communication, everything. Uh, as an engineer, uh, you need to manage things, right? To manage it, there are two things. One is called soft skills. meaning like soft skill meaning like how to art of public speaking how to present yourself how you you need to because many of the time you need to sell your ideas you need to convey you need to convince your ideas and so on so that is very important attribute something called art of public speaking or the presentation skills and all that that is one attribute very important even though you have a wise technical sound technical knowledge if you don't have the you know right tool to be Uh, using for the presentation then it will be really really difficult actually like that is one important attribute from the soft skill uh, angle and from the hard skill angle if you take the technical side of it for example how the data should be analyzed for example i have done lean black belt in lean six sigma that means how the problem solving when you have any problem business problem how we can solve that one so what we can do that if you if you are just uh, you know completing these small courses now uh, over a period of time you will become very expert actually when you when you become when you join any company you will not be uh, behind uh, behind the bar you will be like uh, always in the front liner you will become a front liner meaning like you will be knowing every subject and you will be knowing the technical jargons how the data is analyzed how the problem is solved which are all the tool to use the uh, to solve the problems and please engage yourself in learning things for example more than technical knowledge what i must say that it is equally imperative to know the soft skill also as well the soft skill includes your presentation your ppt present in you know, skills how to make the best ppt and uh, you you can also learn how to analyze the data how to solve the any business problem there are many many proven techniques are available in the market like you know six sigma is one among them the us technique like it talks fully about the statistic it it uh, it can also uh, you know we can also like predict what is going to happen and all that so all of this let's say i think i made a small video called uh, with sachin is better than is virat is better than sachin so by looking at this one you can also like have something called 95 percentage confidence level there is something called data analysis like this you can do so i i request all the students uh, take a small advice from my side please engage yourself in learning different things apart from your domain knowledge domain something you will be very strong and you will be uh, you are engineering students and you must be very thorough about it apart from this you learn this one when you get into the position of any company first you will get into the position in any company very fast that's the point number 1 even after getting place also you will get shine you will become a very unique candidate you you will have you will be distinguished by having multiple attributes multiple talents and all that so please i request all to start now itself you know when you complete now after 10 year you can say that yeah i have 10 year experience in lean six sigma i am a black belt you can just do one course of that you can start with yellow belt green belt black belt you can start with the problem solving you can start with the you know uh, communication skill basic intermediate advanced super advanced you can learn about uh, you know business english and so on so there is a never ending process you can just keep uh, continually improving it but do please uh, kindly do so because your technical knowledge at some extent may not work i'll give one uh, uh, one statistic let's say i'm a manager of a company and uh, i might not know everything about uh, electronics 
though I am a graduated uh, candidate of electronic communication, I may not know. But I may know like how uh, the problem can be solved, how the you know how we can bring the best solution, how we can bring the who is the best uh, technique they are using it and all that. So more than theory, these are all the things which you can learn. And definitely, I can rest assured that you after a period of time you will become perfect uh, in everything, and you will become a best uh, candidate and very shiny candidate. And uh, you will be very, you will be amazed, and everyone will be amazed that you have a different uh, characteristic in you. Actually, I must also thank my, uh, you know, teacher, uh, who always uh, give the thirst to me that actually, Apra, you always learn. Even when I complete one course, I actually in tenth standard itself, I completed uh, document, I mean, uh, computer basic actually, like uh, diploma in computer application. Then he said, no, no, do some more. Do some more, and then that is something I kept uh, happening. Recently, I completed the master black belt also as well. So the knowledge uh, doesn't get ended. You have that uh, deep connection with the knowledge, and it is a return on investment. That means you invest now at the same time, at right time. That in many fold it will come to you as a benefit. Yeah, please, please, uh, you know, engage your yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank different you. Different things apart from your studies. Any other yeah. queries? And be good at studies. At the same time, you also learn. Uh, the okay, things. I think uh, it's so clear. I think, sir. Okay. Any yeah. Other